In this video, I want to talk about pulmonary arterial hypertension. So let's start first by defining what is pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension refers to an increased pressure in the pulmonary arteries. Now, if you have increased pressure in the pulmonary arteries, and remember, the pulmonary system is a low pressure system, they can have a lot of different reasons. The most likely reason is some sort of left heart problem can be many, many more reasons why somebody is developing pulmonary hypertension. However, in this video, we're going to focus on a very specific subcategory of pulmonary hypertension, on pulmonary arterial hypertension. And this was also previously known as primary pulmonary hypertension. And this is a disease of the small pulmonary arteries, the small blood vessels right here. So why could you have a problem within the pulmonary artery? So here I've drawn a nice wide open pulmonary artery. You can see here the smooth muscle layer, the collagen fibers around, and the endothelial cells. So when we are having a patient with pulmonary arterial hypertension, the pulmonary arteries are narrow. And this could be due to, number one, vasoconstriction. So there might be too many vasoconstrictive mediators around in contrast to vasodilatory mediators, and or there might be also just arterial remodelings, for example, smooth muscle hyperproliferation. And then in the end, you're going to end up with a more narrow artery. So now what is the consequence when we have a disease and a narrowing in these small pulmonary arteries? The consequence is that we're going to end up with more resistance we're going to have increased pulmonary vascular resistance. Well, if you have more resistance here, we're going to have a higher pressure in the pulmonary artery. If you have a higher pressure in the pulmonary artery, the right ventricle needs to work much harder because it needs to work against this increased pressure. Now, as a consequence, the right atrium needs to create more pressure also to generate the preload, to create the preload, to help the right ventricle to work. So we have now increased pressure also in the right atrium. Then eventually there's also going to be pressure back up into the body's veins. And the first one is the neck vein. And this is going to be the one that you're going to see distended. And then obviously later you can also see all kinds of peripheral edema. And these are all typical symptoms of right heart failure. And that's normally how a patient presents with pulmonary arterial hypertension. This concludes the video on pulmonary arterial hypertension.